explodes on the web. You can celebrate. Urgent information is now out. Just arrived. New Boston Bruins reinforcement, double dose, fans go crazy with this news, you won't believe who's coming to the ice bears. You can celebrate. But before giving you this news, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the development of this contract, because we will update you about everything firsthand. Boston Bruins add heavy playoff element in deadline deal. Breaking news broke Thursday night that the Boston Bruins have traded defensive back Dmitry Orloff and forward Garnet Hathaway. Hathaway is also no stranger to Boston Bruins fans with the physicality and badass he brings to the table as a 6-foot, 200-pound forward and is also coming off a career-high 14 goals and 26 points last season, and has consistently been a difficult player to tackle throughout his career with the Capitals and Calgary Flames. To be blunt, both players make the Boston Bruins a much bigger headache than they already have this season. And that hasn't happened when things get nastier, heavier, and more physical in postseason hockey. Already leave your like in this video, because it is very important so that you don't miss the latest flamenco news, which we posted here, thank you. We were trying to attack in two different areas and I think both Dimitri and Garnet bring some attributes that will complement our group, said Boston Bruins general manager Don Sweeney. Dimitri has a Stanley Cup ring and brings a lot of veteran leadership to our group and plays in all different situations. Garnet is a dogged guy who will be hooked the way we used our bottom, six in an attempt to create some forecheck anxiety. He can get in the way, kills penalties, and has a bigger body and structure. Both are excited to join our team. But it's clear to all that Hathaway and Orloff up the mean factor for the Boston Bruins and will help the Bees create even more anxiety in opponents than they did by going August 5th 43 this season. Both are identity type players, Sweeney said. When push comes to shove, we're just going to put together our best lineup. I think this group understands that we were in this to try and flesh out what our team looks like. I think we're in a really good position because our team played really well and we're trying to reward that team. Now it all comes down to some of the essential details. Like, how is Orloff going to fit into a group of defenders that has been really good this season and has an established set of three pairs where someone is going to be an odd man? There have certainly been injury issues with Matt Grzelcik and Brandon Carlo over the last few postseasons and Orloff's presence will be insurance for anything that happens to either of the blue liners. It's a little tougher on offense, where Hathaway will fit into the current group of forwards and likely relegate Tomas Nosek or AJ Greer to the press box if everyone is healthy. The bottom line for the Boston Bruins, Don Sweeney and the Bruins front office beat another NHL trade deadline and brought in impactful, quality players that will help Boston's cause this postseason. Two years ago it was Taylor Hall, last season it was Hampus Lindholm and this season it's Dmitry Orloff and Garnet Hathaway. That's an incredibly productive performance by the Boston Bruins overall and exactly what this season's mighty hockey team needed with a very realistic chance of the Stanley Cup in their grasp. Hey Bees fans, in your opinion are these two acquisitions good for the Boston Bruins or not? What's your opinion? Put it in the comments, it's very important for the Boston Bruins. Stay tuned as I update you at any moment with the latest news.